welcome back to my channel my name is Dresa if you're new here welcome I'm super excited because today's video is an Amazon haul and I have found some exciting items that I am so excited to share with you guys I think these items is going to take my space to the next level if you like what you're hearing please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and keep on watching and these I'm going to start with my first item and these are the vintage gold mixed taper candle holders i absolutely love these and they come in a variety of heights it starts from four inches and it goes all the way up to i believe 11 inches there is a set of 10 and when i say these elevated my space wonderfully I mean, being that there are 10 of them, you can put them in multiple areas of your home. I love the antique look of it. The um, finish of it is more of a brass instead of a shiny gold, in which I feel will melt better in to my space. I am so excited for these because I can put this on my coffee table, uh, armoire, your console table. You could put it in an endless amount of um, areas, your kitchen. I am so excited for these. These were set at a good price of $50. I cannot even explain how excited I was to find these. It's a definitely a great value for the amount of money that you're spending. So the next item is this wood riser. It is kind of different from the other ones that you may have seen um, on the internet. This one is more box looking, but I did love the rustic look of the wood. This wood is different from what you typically see in the house. It does have some reddish undertones to it, and it just looks very antique-ish. I mean, I don't know if it's antique-ish, but this is coming from Creative Op on Amazon. It is a store that everyone typically is familiar with. It's higher than most, but um, you can add a candle or um, some candle wick cutters. You can put this in the kitchen with a beautiful picture in the background just to give it some overlay or whatnot. Most of the wood risers that you see, a lot of people implement it in the kitchen next to the sink as like a caddy to hold your um, dish soap and whatnot. However, I feel like this one is a little bit too high for that. So it's more of a decor element. I paired it with a candle some sage and some wick cutters. You can pair it any way you would like. It was reasonably priced at $30 at the time that I got it, but um, it's constructed very nicely and I feel like it will bring some character to a modernized space. So with the next item I have are these glass coffee mugs. And these I thought would be so cute for like with a shake, latte or something in that aspect. Now I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I do love the aesthetic. They do have a vintage touch to them. They have some form of beading and it makes it look something like something that you would get from your grandmother. They come in a pair of two. So the other pair has a different pattern on it which this is giving me glass collector type vibes. So I thought these were very cute. I was surprised at how big they were because you can easily put some soup in here, but they also come with a spoon. I thought that was so cute. If you wanted to have some parfaits in here, it just gives it a cute little vibe. So I absolutely love it. These were in about $30 and I think these would be great for daily use. Does definitely seem as though it is great quality. So for the next item, I got to pair with my tree that I have in the office. This tree I got from Target and the actual vase that it is in, I got that from Amazon and added some moss um, to the top of the pot so that I can give it more elevated look. However, to take it to the next level, 
I got these accent lights. Now these accent lights are super easy to install. All you have to do is plug it in. It comes with a foot pedal for easy access to turn it on and off. Obviously it will look better at night because it will be more luminous, but the lighting is a 3000K which is preferred when you're looking at accent lighting or low level lighting. So I absolutely love the color of the lighting. It does illuminate the space and the pack it comes in two. You get two for $27. I liked it. It felt like good quality it's quite heavy so it does feel very sturdy and it does feel like it will last a long time i'm going to use one in this area and i can't figure out where to put the other but i'm pretty sure once i start adding some more items to the space i think this would definitely be used in other places of the of my house so so the next item that i found are these artificial branches and i thought first impressions I was underwhelmed when I first opened it I thought they screamed fake okay they look very fake and the plastic smell was just overwhelming and it just turned me off then I started fluffing out the leaves and seeing the great volume that I saw in the pictures and I love it being that they're very much green um, I do have to be strategic of where I put it because I like the more muted greens if you see that here. But paired in a glass cylinder vase, these look very elevated. They are 43 inches high and I think they flare out to like 15 inches wide. So it does uh, take up a lot of space. You don't need much. It comes in a pack of two and they are only $22. So for what I'm looking for, they will do just fine. I just hope that that plastic smell um, goes away pretty soon because I don't like it. I definitely thought these were a great find and something that would um, make your spring space pop. Definitely. So I purposely didn't show this area too much because I had this glammed out chrome drum chandelier over the dining room table. That was my style back in the day, but that's not my style now. My style um, back in the day was a lot of grays, a lot of whites, very clear, heaven, uh, cloudy type look. That was my look previously before, but now I am implementing more earthy tones, organic tones, organic shapes, you know, fabrics, texture, textiles, blankets, all of that. <laughs> so um, my style definitely changed, but this chandelier was screaming to me. It was in my Amazon cart four months before purchasing then i got it and it stayed in my closet for another couple of months okay so um i got this some time ago last year okay and we just installed it and i cannot say too much about it it's just stunning it goes with the space. I was gonna go for the wagon wheel type look. I thought that may be a little bit too trendy, but this is very classic. This is timeless. I did love the sleekness of it. A lot of the other ones that I saw had like a lip underneath the candle portion of it, which is nice, but I thought it gave, I thought that gave it a little bit more rustic. I was going for a little bit more timeless, but not too rustic because I don't want it looking like a farmhouse, but I can't say nothing else. I stinking love it. I'm um, obviously going to show some clips of it, but um, I will show you guys the installation and everything in the vlog and some other home updates that I got coming up in the vlog. But that 
that is it for the video. If you like what you hear, please do not forget to subscribe. Go ahead and like this video and comment what items that you love. Like what items are you looking at to elevate your home space? Let me know what you guys are looking at or what you guys are going to be doing to your home this spring. Leave those comments in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.